Hi guys, my name's Fluffy. I haven't done a trading video in a while. It's been like two or three weeks. That's because I have school and I got quarantined, so I'm able to do trades again momentarily. So I've gotten some more trades done. Um, yeah, I upgraded. Believe it or not, I upgraded. Um, I have a lot of new stuff uh, that I'm going to show you guys, you know, like some notable items, you know, Red Fang, Laser Red. So I'll just show you those guys' trades, but before we do that, let's look through some of our inbound trades that are absolutely beautiful. All right, starting off with a low ball on SSHF. Garbage. College dropout. Yeah, I can see why he's a college dropout, because this is just terrible. Let's see, me getting Torque for Commissioner. No. Um, okay, let's pretend that trade never existed. Yeah, wow. Okay, wow. Um, I wouldn't do that. Uh, no. Not interested. Shady is not for trade. Um, wow. Okay, yeah, you guys, really bad trades. Me overpaying for Scarlet. That's a really good face. Well, I accidentally clicked cancel. Sorry, bro. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely accept that, guys. That's, that's good. But I can't rip him off, so I'm not going to accept that. <sighs> Why would I... Okay, I, I'm... I, I seriously... None of these trades I'm considering. Not a single one. The stupid furry bot keeps sending me trades, okay? Be a good furry and don't send bad trades. This is... No. No. What? What is this? What the heck? No. No. Well, I mean, this is not bad, but I, I kind of like that plunger pack. I mean, I know this is kind of projected, but... Eh. Probably not. Captain Steampunk's not for trade. Hot Jams is really lpp right now. It's like 5k, so no. Uh, I mean, like, I'd rather keep the swag shades. <clears throat> No, shady is not for trade. Stop sending on it. No, this is this is insulting. This is this insults my religion. Uh, I mean, ninja is projected by like three hundred, so like minus three hundred. I'm still overpaying. No. Mm, nah. No. 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 Well, no. Yeah, these... Not good trades, guys. Not good trades. These are just bad. All of them are bad. C Captain Steampunk is not for trade, guys. Captain Steampunk is not for trade. It's so good, guys. Oh, my gosh. Well, um... Oh, wait, no, that's an overpay. I didn't see that. You guys need to step up your trading gear. No, post apocalypse is cool. I, it's it's too good, guys. No. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, guys. I, I I'm just gonna let's just look over the completed trades. This was the last trade I did. Um, American woman is doing really well. As you can see, it's three k. I'm now winning in this trade because uh people like. Uh, American Woman Hype, aka Code Xbox One, decided to buy American Woman for really high, and then that prompted other people to buy it pretty high. So, the bots have lost like two copies of American Woman so far. They have like 38 of them exactly left. So yeah, American Woman is doing pretty well, thankfully. <clears throat> I trade with American Woman. Well, I mean, sorry, American Woman Hype, Code Xbox. I got, I did this trade, and I got some really good items. I like, including another King of the Sea folk. So that was pretty good. I really like Mega Rainbow, or really like Captain Steampunk. I like King of Seafolk and for cheering, but King of Seafolk is for trade since I have two of them. Just offer on this cereal. But yeah, that's pretty good. Um, this item is newer, so I was like, I'd rather have that. Okay, this was stupid. A 3k overpay with a semi-rare that I'm hoarding, and I had to give both of my Rocket Mans. Now, I'll show you that I got my Rocket Mans back, but yeah, this was pretty good. Evil Visor for Speed Stunner because I like military items and it's pretty decent. It's pretty equal basically. I auto accepted this because it's pure wrap for Wink and this is a semi rare. Really good. Really good. Harry Strong for this because I really like Red Future and I'm going to try hoarding it. 
Um, he got com American Woman uh, uh, Codex box got comped. So, well, actually, I'll show you the, the donations I did to him. But we were trying to flip some stuff here when he after he got comped. So I feel really bad. I feel really bad for him. This for Burger Launcher because Burger Launcher is a pretty nice item. Thousand, one point five k item, pretty awesome. Uh, this was this was pretty decent because I got this sword that I really wanted, and I'll hit. And this was pretty much basically equal. So yeah, pretty low cereals for both of these items as well. So yeah, pretty nice. Laser beam mohawk for night vision holoscope, another kind of low cereal ish because I really like military items, and this thing is kind of hard to get. A trade with my friend Ascentism. Pretty good since I really wanted another red feet train, so uh, epically awesome. I think it's also a bit low right now. Uh, this is projected, but it's an overpay on my Snow Queens with Emerald Eye and Perfectly Legitimate. I know I said I wouldn't trade them, but I couldn't resist this, so it's pretty good. Bright Fighter for Camo Commando, that was really good because demand and more rep. Um, this was an overpay. Well, this was equal when I was doing this, but I wanted to downgrade this for demand. And, well, now I'm overpaying, apparently, so shake my head. This was equal when I did this, but lower, Royal Guard lowered and Fire Wizard rose. And Fire Wizard is kind of a new item. It's also hoarded by bots. So, yeah. But, yeah, pretty good. Both of them are equally rare-ish. I think Royal Guard's a bit more rare. Um, I got a bit unhappy that my Silver Sentinel got projected because I really love Silver Sentinel, but I ended up just taking 7k on this. I just found some random odor with Rocket Man, and he came up to me and wanted green ultimate for this, and I auto-accepted because of how overpowered this is. This was an overpay on legit. Thankfully, I traded off that legit quickly, but yeah, I, I got I got Raven, which is really which lowered a lot, even though this is kind of inflated and a 2k, so yeah, pretty good. But I, I traded these off. Sorry, I mean, I traded these off. Lava Reactor for Laser, because Laser gets overpays, and plus, I really like this item. I don't really like Lava Reactor too much. It's pretty nice, but I'd rather have a Laser right, laser Red. This is a pretty good uh, overpay for a bit lower demand. This is like kind of normal demand, but yeah, it's pretty good. My 6 Oceanic Guard Helmet. That was really, really good because I'm hoarding this item right now. If it gets projected, I'm probably not going to trade the copies off. But yeah, this thing gets LBBs even though it's demand. I donated to Code after he got comped. So yeah, you're welcome, Code. Um, and Overpay on Black Iron with just less demand. But yeah, it's still pretty good with Robux. So yeah. A Dark Almond for Evil Henchman because I owned this during the May. And this item has 750 copies. Kind of low for what it should be selling for. So, yeah, I, I'm just going to keep Evil Henchman on me. Um, these are just uh, him uh, giving me stuff back, kind of. But, yeah, I got Apocalypse Helm pretty good because I love Apocalypse Helm. I got a huge overpay. Well, not a huge overpay, but I got an overpay on four of my out of my five of my Atomic Neon Top Hats. Even though it's rare, I took this because I really love all three of these items. Ronald, Fruitcake, and Copper Hat. I really love all three of these, and I, I wanted to get them. I got Ronald back, thankfully. So yeah, I still have one Atomic left. I am. I guess I might trade it, but we'll see. Okay, so this was kind of stupid. This was a stupid rare trade. This guy comes up to me and he's like, Oh, so uh, I trade for looks. So uh, I'll give you Gold Leaker for SSHF 1v1. And I took it right away because apparently it's really good. And it was like a 5k win. And I guess SSHF gets really bad LPB. So I just ended up taking a 10k overpay on the Gold Leaker. So that's pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, guys, huge rare trading. Another kind of like semi-rare trade, but this thing sells for 40k, so I ended up overpaying like 5k. It's I think it's like 6k now since Dice Crown rose. Well, actually, it's going to fall back down, actually, because it's slower right now. But yeah, so basically an upgrade into I'm Secretly a Vampire of the Hat. Probably a really good item. I got it, so I just wanted to pin it, and then I had it up for trade. A downgrade on Virtual with just demand smalls. Like, pretty much all of this is demand, except this is just these two are just small demand, but they're still demand because they're pretty cool. Another trade with Trey, so shout out to him for doing some trades with me, especially a shout out to Codex for doing some trades with me too. But camo and a small for Dark Wolf, so basically 4K for Dark Wolf. I don't see this going under 4K because it's kind of, kind of, kind of uncircularized. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Even though it's projected, Steampunk Santa for Zip It because I really like Zip It, so it was pretty cool. I liked, I like this trade. I really like Zip It. Pretty nice demand item. It's a, it has a bit of demand. Obvious trades because White Ninja sells for 1.3k. This sells for 1.1. I gave this because I like military items and plus this rose. This is not really a small that much anymore. So yeah, pretty good. 
Yeah, see, I traded off Oculus. I got a 2.7... Someone lowballed me Otterhead 2.7k because this is really inflated. And it's processed in some areas, so this was a win for me. Uh, basically, 2.4k on Swashbuckler, but a bit more since he had an ad with the smalls. I really love Keytar Sword, too, so this was really nice. And now I have... My only my only Santa hat is Chris Max now. Still not for trade. 2k on Cupid's Beloved Blade with just demand, so it was really good, including the salad here. Awesome salad here, guys. Awesome. See, I ended up trading Raven. I got 8-bit Sword Pack. This was 6.7k when I did this. Thankfully, I got this because 8-bit Sword Pack is actually doing very well right now. Let me show you it real quick. Yeah, as you can see, this item has been selling for literally 9k, so really good. This underrated sword pack needs more attention. But yeah, so Raven, and this is really this lowered a lot, so thankfully I traded that off. I also gave a web slinger. Basically 90k for SSHF. I took it because I if I don't if because honestly I can get another overpay on SSHF. I really like it, so yeah. Took this, including both of my two semi rares, so yeah. Epic. Upgrade into Red Fang. This is a sale away from raising, and this is also under wrap, so this was really good. It's a really good upgrade into Red Fang. This is the Apple Juice Face, guys. Invest into the Apple Juice Face. Guitar Sword for Sorkis, because in case this thing gets hyped again, like when it was selling really high, I'll just win, end up winning. Plus, Sorkis chair is not bad. Um, I traded off. I traded off all but one of my bright eyes eggs, so I gave one for two point five k, and I gave the I gave four one four more of them for Peacock the Dora. So yeah, a win because this is a semi rare. But yeah, I have one more bright eyes egg left, so it looks like I'm no longer hoarding bright eyes eggs unless I get more copies, which I'm still fine with doing. And the last trade I did is I gave uh, someone lowballed me Nor Perius Strawn for these Barbie items that do really well. So yeah, see you later, Ornit Headdress. See you later, Astraeus. I will miss you guys. You guys were awesome hats. But yeah, Noir is pretty good. So yeah, I did this trade. Well, guys, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this trading video. Sorry that I did not upload in a while, but I have school, and I have a couple more days before I go back to school. So if you guys got any of these wish list items of mine, go ahead. If you want to join my Discord server, I'll put that in the description and the comments. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.